Hi, I'm Gemma from Creation Campus and today we're going to show you our latest van conversion. This is on a long wheelbase Fiat Ducata and it was built for the customer's um, specification. So it is fully off grid. We've got loads of electrics in this and they wanted a very rustic theme. So come on in and have a look. We've got a nice little seating area here and it's also designed as a desk to be able to sit and work from. So we've got a nice solid wooden table and underneath we've got some nice plug sockets and USBs. I absolutely love the rawness of the real wood. So also, we have got another seat. So this vehicle does travel for people, um, but to allow more space in the van, you can remove the rear seats. You can remove one of them, remove both of them. Um, so what we've done is we've just removed one for now to allow more space for when we're walking through. And this seat, also doubles up to be a bed, a single bed at the front. Into the kitchen, we've got a nice size fridge down here. And we've got some drinks in. We've got a lovely full size oven. With a grill. Imagine the amount of roast dinners you could cook in that. <laughs> so we've also got a lovely sink with a chopping board on top so we can remove this panel. But the good thing about this tap is it's got a water filtration system on it and you can taste the difference so much from just pulling cold water from the tank or running it through the filter it, it tastes like freshly bottled water it's gorgeous so I don't usually like drinking from from camper van tanks and even in my van I bring fresh bottles with me to drink but that is is a game changer so then we've got I'll put that back we've got more storage under the sink We've got a full size shower room. And the shower room is actually um, one full fiberglass pod. So you don't get leaky seams and sealant cracks like you would normally do. We've got a lovely full size bed which is a fixed double bed and over here we have got some custom design doors which the customer asked for and I also love the solid wood headboards And you might notice as well, we actually got copper curtain royals. The curtains haven't been done yet, um, but there's copper royals on all the windows. So that's a nice little extra touch. We've got a cutlery drawer. <laughs> and when you're at campsites and the weather's nice, sometimes you don't want to be stuck in the van. Um, so when you're outside, we've got a little table. So that's great when you're sitting here you've got somewhere to put your drink and then that just folds away round to the garage this has been designed so the fourth seat when you're not using it you can actually store it in this drawer and this is on some really heavy juicy drawer runners I think these can take 350 kilograms so 
potentially I should be able to sit in there. <laughs> So the electrics on this van is designed to be fully off grid. So we're running a lithium battery, um, a full Victron system, which has got an inverter charger in as well. We've got massive amounts of solar on the roof. Obviously that's where you'd put it. <laughs> um, so it's so smart. And I love the fact that you can like control it all on your phone and you can see what you're running and what you're using and how much power you've got left. So it's really, 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 really good system. We've also got a diesel heater in this van and that vents into the garage, into the living area and also into the bathroom. So on a wet day, you can go and hang your clothes up in the bathroom or, you know, wet shoes in the garage and it'll dry them, which is fantastic. So on this van, it's also got a external shower, which is great if you're at the beach or you've got a dog that you need to hose off after it's just got muddy. Um, so it's fully hot and cold, so you can pull this out, have a shower, wet your dog. Come on. <laughs> I'm not getting the shower now. <laughs> and then that just slides back in. Do you know this reminds me of a phone? Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And an external barbecue point, so if you want to run an external gas barbecue there is an external point so all the gas on this van is all underslung it's got an underslung LPG tank and um, it holds about 25 litres so that's plenty of gas and the good thing about having an underslung tank lately is there seems to be like a worldwide shortage of gas bottles <laughs> so when you are converting a new van think about that there they are like rocking horse poo at the moment to get hold of a propane bottle. <laughs> um, round to the other side. So on this side of the van, we've got your electric hook-up point. I love these whale, the new slideys. They just slide up and down, you know, instead of having a flap that usually sort of, you always forget to close when you're driving down the road and you're like that. They are fantastic. And um, you've got your water filler there so you can whack your hose pipe in fill your water tanks and it's also got a lock on so no one can wee in the tank <laughs> they have to be pretty tall down here we've got the toilet where you take your crap and um, it's also got a sog system fitted on this one which basically eliminates all the bad smells when you open your toilet which is fantastic and then we've got the gas point where you fill your gas Ta -da! <laughs> and on this van, I've got my favourite thing that I love on every camper van, Remus blinds. So they're on both side windows and the front window and they're not cheap. And on our own camper van, when we were doing it, I was like, oh, it's a lot of money, isn't it? Do you know what? They are the best purchase that you will have. You know, sometimes you mess with the stupid foil things. They are like totally blackout. And it really does help with condensation and stuff like that when you're sleeping in it. And, you know, so highly recommend them. We've also got some fancy lights. Fancy. All the, all the lights under the cupboard are on a dimmer switch. So you can dim them down and switch them off. So you can have them to whatever setting you want.
I love how deep this sink is. Most of the times in camper vans, the sinks are really, really small. This is like fantastic, look. So all the seats in this van are going to be going off to the upholsterers and they're going to be all done in a nice brown leather, I think, which will look really nice once they're all matching. So that's the end of this van tour. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, every time we do do a conversion, we will be now putting it on YouTube. So press the subscribe button and we'll see you soon.